happy Wednesday. Well, today we're back in the sunroom and we've got places to decorate. And I think we're gonna start with this old rustic chippy door behind me that I purchased from an antique store. And I'm gonna show you how I, I'm gonna jazz it up. All right, so this is the old chippy door that I purchased from an antique store. And I love this old door because it's got a keyhole that you could actually see through. Can you see that? And you can see the doorknob is old and weathered. And, you know, I could have painted it, I suppose, but I actually like the color. I don't think you can, it, it'll it pick up on camera, but it's almost like a super, super, super pale, pale blue. And I don't know. I just like it this way. So I'm gonna share with you how I'm planning to decorate it. Normally, I put wreaths, I've used baskets. I mean, I've done all kinds of things on this old door. Now, when I purchased it from the antique store, it came with these knobs on it. Now, I don't know if they just put those on there because they thought they it would you know, add visual interest and make it look different. I didn't take them off. I'm actually using them and I've plugged in a shop light that I purchased from Lowe's. I love these lights because you can clip them on virtually anywhere, plug them into an outlet, and you've got light right where you need it. So anyway, let's dress this up. Now I should point out that if you, if you don't want the silver look, you could always spray paint, take that off, spray paint it to whatever color you want. I think black would actually look nice and you know, that's very classic. So it goes with everything. So that would be nice. But you can see as I pan over here, I've used these shop lights all the way around the perimeter of my kitchen. Reason being it, you know, it gets rather dark in this area. So it really lightens and brightens the space up and gives it a farmhouse look. I should also point out that I've got a nail and a tack. And you'll see why in just a moment. All right, so when I ran down to my storage room, I thought, hmm, what do I want to do on this door? And I found this frame in my stash of pictures that I'm not using. And I thought to myself, Chris, you've never really used that frame. I, when I bought it, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I actually was going to hang this on a wall and then drop a wreath from it and use that as a fo focal point on a wall. And I never did that. But somebody took the time to chalk paint it and kind of like add some darkness around the edges and distress it. So I really like it. And I thought to myself, I wonder if that would fit on the door. Let's, let's try it. Here we go. So far, so good. Now... I just love this. This is a chalkboard I got at the same antique store. And um, what I've done, like I said, I buy those curtain clips at Walmart. I use them for so many things. But anyway, you can see what they did on the back. They used wire to hang it. And then I put a curtain clip there and I'm just gonna hang it from this tack. So let's do that right now. Done. So you see, it's not super exciting, but it's kind of cute. It adds visual interest. I can now decorate that chalkboard through the seasons with cute sayings if I choose to, or just leave it simple as is. But I love the light, how it shines down on it. And I got to tell you, at night, it looks really cute in this corner. So there's an idea for you guys. But now, what should we do? Let's move on to the three wine refri refrigerators I have, and let's decorate the tops of them. All right, guys, next up, I'm gonna hang this beautiful wreath. I got three of these at Home Goods years ago, and I'm hanging one on each big window in here. I love the black and white stripe, and I love the wreath. 
Um, so I'm gonna hang it right there. All right, right here, you can see the three wine refrigerators and we're gonna decorate the tops of them. I love these refrigerators because you can keep the whites over here, the, you know, the reds over here, and then on this side we have our miscellaneous. So everything's, you know, temperature controlled and anyway, we'd like to have these built in at some point, but for right now it is what it is. It's a gloomy, rainy day outside. But anyway, I'm gonna add this uh, table runner to the tops of the wine refrigerators. So I'm all about ambiance and I wanna add, I just love having lights in the window. And so I have this kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a little rustic kind of a lamp. And I'm gonna place it right here, but I wanna show you guys something. When I set it here, it looks out of place. It, it feels like it needs to be bigger and more substantial, and it's not. So I have a solution to this. Okay, see how the lamp looks? I want it to stand taller in this window. So watch what I do. All right, guys, I have this galvanized steel I don't know, cake stand. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I bought two of them. And this is what I'm gonna do. I Watch what I'm gonna do. I take my lamp, I'm gonna sit it on top of my cake stand. I have this garland. If you like this garland, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. It's perfect for spring on into summer. Um, actually into fall too, because you can add your fall leaves to it. And so this was a garland, I cut it in half. So I had um, one piece for this side and one piece for the other. All I'm doing is taking this and I'm just gonna fill in around the lamp. Just like that. It's not like a blooming lamp, but it does give it visual interest. It lifts the lamp up higher where I want it. And I think it's cute. So I'm hoping you guys can see the difference. I've plugged that one in so you can see how much lower it sits and how this one looks much more substantial. So if you need to add a lamp and you wanna oomph it up a little bit, that's a good way to do it. Find something to sit it on and if you wanna like conceal around it, use your favorite greenery. Got my other one. Just gonna sit it right here. And then add my little greenery piece. You could add to this too, guys. If you wanted to add some, you know, floral picks for spring or Valentine's Day, you know, have at it. But I'm just gonna keep it a little simple for right now. And then I may change this up down the line. But anyway, I think it's cute. Now the wheels are turning because I'm like, this kind of mimics grass. I could add Easter eggs for Easter. And how cute would that look? Just put a few in there and then maybe a bunny next to it. See, wheels are turning. Next up, I wanna tie in some of the black, you know, the buffalo check in here and you'll see why in just a moment but I'm gonna put this big candle pillar center stage. Okay, next up, I've got a plate stand. I'm gonna put a plate here and one on the other side, but I've got a black and white charger. I am just, I can't tell you guys how much I'm enjoying black and white with my greens. It just pops, I just love it, and my yellows. But anyway, I'm gonna put this charger right here. And then I've got this cute topiary plate. Gosh, I got this for $2.99 at Home Goods back in the day, many, many years ago, but I just love it. I love topiaries. So I'm gonna set this right here, just like that. Same deal on this side, charger, and another matching topiary plate. Next up, I've got two 
candle holders. I got these at Hobby Lobby and I've got two of these balls. And I like the kind of uh, rustic element I'm gonna add here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna kind of put it behind the plate and stick that on top and done. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So it's all the same. I'm so symmetrical. And then bringing in a little farmhouse element, I've got a little dairy cow creamer, and then I've got these little like forks that say nibble on them. And I just stuck them in there. And I'm just gonna set this right there. And that's it, done. country hutch let's decorate the inside and the top and I think what I'm going to do is start with the top and and then hopefully everything else will come together but what I what I want to show you first is again I love ambiance and I love this room to look super cozy at night so I always have little lamps somewhere in this room so I I, I like that one it's almost like a night light in it it stays on all day and all night. But what I'm gonna do is add some greenery to the top of it. Now, if you guys like this greenery, Hobby Lobby, and go when you can get it 50% off because it is a little pricey. Um, so you definitely save when you get it 50% off, but I'm gonna just drape it on the top. I should mention I'm, go I'm trying to go for a French country farmhouse look and feel, so. Let's hang this. I got this French country hutch at the antique store. I, I, I think it was like $120. And you know, somebody obviously, you know, cleaned it up and they chalk painted it. So they did all the hard work for me. So I thought it was a really good buy. But anyway, here's the top of it. And I am gonna drape this. kind of want it going off the sides back um wait a second and I don't want these these are draping down too long so I'm just gonna kind of put them off I want a few draping down but not many maybe just like that all right what else should we add how about a basket with a huge garden ball in it. Let's put that right here. And then I have another one and I'm just gonna set this one right beside the basket. So it looks like a little grouping. And I've got my little lamp. I have my, I just ran down to my storage room and got my little rooster and I just tied some buffalo check ribbon on it. I wanted him to have a long tail. You'll see why in just a minute, but I am going to put him right here. But I want to fill in this space right here because you can see it just doesn't look, it just doesn't look like enough. So I want to fill in and make it, make it look like he's in amongst some greenery. So one second. So I ran down to my storage room and I grabbed some of these. 
Where did I get these? I don't remember. Probably, oh, Hobby Lobby, of course. Um, and then I've got some hydrangeas and another pick. Um, I just want to, like I said, fill in. I'm going to hold off on that for a second. Um, and then I have this little piece that kind of adds more of a natural, rustic-y looking element. And I'm just going to snug this in here. You have to play with these things until you get it just the way you want it. And now I have some hydrangeas. So I kind of want to put some in here. Now I'm going to take this and uh, kind of just nestle it in there. And I think that looks cute. I want to fill in with a little bit more greenery over here, so I'm going to stick some in like there. I think that's good. I, I like adding uh, different greenery picks because I think it looks more natural that way. But anyway, I think it looks pretty cute. Like I said, you've got to just play with these things. But I like it. And that's what it looks like. And now we need to decorate the inside of those shelves. Let's open this up. I'm gonna move these out of the way while we decorate the inside of it. Let me go gather some things. So I have this grapevine wreath. I got this at an antique store, but I like the rustic element. So I'm gonna put this up top center stage. All right, guys, I have a bunch of these black and white plates. Once again, Hobby Lobby. And I'm, I'm trying to pull in a lot of black and white into this room mixed with those greens. So, and you saw what I just did. So I want to pull that over here into this hutch. And by the way, this hutch is awesome. It's got the little notches so you can, you know, lean your plate. So let me pull you closer. So I got this little canvas art at Hobby Lobby. It was $9.99 and I got it for 50% off. And I'm just gonna put that right there in the center. So I got these two candlesticks at Goodwill. And you know what? I'm just gonna stick them in here on either side. Just to add in some brown. Now up top over here, in this little corner, I've got a little pedestal and I've got a pear. And I'm just gonna set my little pear on the pedestal and stick it right here. In this little window area. I had this plate right down there and I'm thinking maybe I wanna add this cute little uh, basket. thinking. Down below, I'm going to add a little topiary right, uh, see, where do I want to put it? I'll take that back. Wait, maybe one right there in, in that little window. 
And then I want to add my little rooster guy right there. Next to him, I'm going to add a cloche with three little eggs. And then I've got uh, another black and white plate with a plate stand. And then I've got this pretty green plate that ties in well with my topiary plates. So I'm gonna put that right there. So I just put that little plate set right there. I'm wondering if that'll fit. Maybe what I'll do is stick that back, stick this in, cause I've got a topiary right there and I'll put one over here. So you can see it through the glass. And then I'll pull the plates over. That looks really cute. I like it. All right. So right in this area, I want to add some greens to kind of pull in some of the greens up top. So I thought this might be cute. I've got a little pedestal. And this is like for soups. And I just draped some grapes in it and stuck an artichoke in it. And then I'm probably going to put the artichoke, I don't know, sitting next to it somehow. Next up, I've got some grapes and I've just sat them in here and I'm gonna set these right here. Last but not least, I'm going to stick this over on that side. Well, my hutch is complete. I think it looks pretty cute. I packed it fuller than I normally would, but that's okay. I like, who are we kidding? I'm no minimalist. So I turned my light bar off because the glare was just driving me nuts. But anyway, this is what it looks like on the inside. that's going to wrap up this video. I just noticed it's like 22 minutes long already. I apologize. I had my kids home all at different times today. So my filming was getting interrupted constantly. And I'm like, guys, I'm trying to film here. And it was like sisters duh, 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 left and right. And it was distracting me. And then I was talking too much. So I am so sorry. I will try to keep Friday's video to a minimum. Uh, but nonetheless, I thank you guys so much for stopping by. Friday, we'll finish this up and we might do a DIY or we might do a quick vignette somewhere else in the house. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. I love you guys so much and sending you my love.